Now we will have a moment for the Mission Central. So I would like to ask those who will represent the Mission Central, please come to the stage. And Chair recognizes uh, Rob Fisher, the Executive Director of Mission Central, and Bob Ryder, the President of the Board, and the rest of the members join us. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. It's been a place of enormous creativity for people to find ways of meeting human need through what we can do, what people can contribute. It's an energizing kind of thing. You can't talk about this place without getting excited. It's a place where faith becomes turned into reality kind of situations. There's no other way to describe it. And you can't be in this place without being touched. I want people to know that this is an amazing place where you can live out that faith, if you have that faith that calls you to uplift those in need, or even if you're just someone that knows, hey, there's folks in need and I want to be able to help. Mission Central can be that place to do that. No one goes to Mission Central on Sunday for a church service. It's a warehouse but the love and the grace of Jesus just explodes from that warehouse all around the world. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning. What's the deal with the shoes? <laughs> yeah, a lot of soul, that's it, yeah. Just to give you a report, you must have been taking the shoes off of people as they walked by we filled the Mission Central truck yesterday morning, sent it out and put a little truck in its place, filled that truck and that went out and now the big truck is back and it's half full already. It's about 15 full pallets of shoes, Gaylord size, big pallets of shoes. So thank you and thank you for your efforts that benefits Mission Central and micro business around the globe. I'd like to uh, introduce this morning uh, this year's uh, Harry Overholzer Volunteer of the Year. Uh, our volunteer this year is very dedicated to Mission Central, has been for many years, starting out working with, uh, just in response to Hurricane Katrina, and then helping us with medical supplies that we connect around the globe, also serving on the board, also coordinating our whole hub network program, which by the way, we are up to 34 hubs in the Northeast jurisdiction. So we continue to expand and have that vast network ready to respond to disasters and then also to uh, connect resources locally, nationally, and globally. But I'd like to introduce that volunteer, and that volunteer is Mrs. Jean Norris. Would you please welcome her? Thank you. I am truly humbled by this recognition. Um, makes me a bit uncomfortable, <laughs> but I, just am so reminded that Mission Central was founded as a volunteer organization. We still are a volunteer organization. We support, we are supported by a very small but very capable staff. And I join and recognize and honor the over 8,000 volunteers that come to Mission Central in a year. And I would say also there are probably 3,000 or so out there working in our 34 hubs. So we are a volunteer organization and I'm honored to represent them. I also feel that I am undeserving because I feel so blessed to have God place the passion of Mission Central on my heart. Uh, for this stage of my life, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I'm so grateful to have that outlet for my volunteerism, because you know when you volunteer at Mission Central, you get far more than you give. So thank you.
Thank you, Gene, for your dedication and also for the thousands of volunteers and many of you who are gathered here today, I'm sure, have been and worked at Mission Central. I want to briefly update you on our capital campaign. Uh, we did fall short of our goal, which was to retire the mortgage. Uh, but thank you to the Bishop's Partnership. We were raised 143,000 towards that this past year, as well as around 100,000 that was raised towards the mortgage. So we're at just a little over $800,000 still remaining on our mortgage. So we ask that you continue to support that effort as we go forward. And I know that Bishop Park is committed to continue to help us uh, through the Bishop's Partnership uh, and mission to continue to retire that mortgage. And so we're very grateful for your leadership, Bishop, in that area. Uh, you received some earbuds from us yesterday morning as a gift. I encourage you to use those to, uh, not during session of course, <laughs> but later on uh, to reflect, uh, maybe listen to some music or so forth, and reflect on annual conference, but also on God's leading on your heart to uh, contribute to Mission Central, both uh, financially and with your uh, gifts and talents. And now I'd like to invite uh, Reverend Bob Ryder, who is the, the president of the Mission Central Board of Directors. Uh, he has a few words to bring to you at this time as well. Thank you, Rob. And good morning, brothers and sisters. Good to see you. You know, this up here is not Mission Central. We just sort of coordinate the stuff that goes on at Mission Central. You are Mission Central. Look around, because you're looking at each other, you're looking at Mission Central. As Gene mentioned, over 8,000 volunteers last year, another 3,000 in the hubs. So we're just coordinating efforts. You are Mission Central, and I just want to say thank you, because we would not exist apart from your efforts. Mindy and Chris yesterday morning challenged us, reminded us that we're people that are comfortable with change. We change our hairdo, we change our shirt, we change our job, and we're very comfortable as long as we're in charge of that change. But sometimes God decides to inject a change and we can, boy, we can dig in our hills, can't we? For our lives, for our family, our, our church, our organization. If God initiates, maybe sometimes it's human nature to put the brakes on. In the spirit of that, one of the things we do as a board is we try to spend time discerning God's leading so that we are intentionally identifying the changes that God is calling us to step into as a mission, as Mission Central. We did that four years ago, and put together, uh, came together and devised a strategic plan based on the leading of God's Spirit and marched through four years of work. Uh, listening and, and leaning on the power of the Spirit to do what God was giving us to do. At the end of last year, Rob and I looked at that strategic plan, and, and it was a God moment. It, we recognized that even though what we had done was put together a plan that we felt was a real stretch objective, and, and in some ways maybe even a dream, that God had, through you all and through uh, the hub network, and even through organizations that aren't necessarily part of the church, that God had accomplished that plan, that we 80 to 90 percent of our strategic plan had actually happened. And that was a celebration. Hallelujah. Praise to God. God has enabled us to do that. But at the same time, we realized that we were sort of operating without a plan. Like we had finished a lot of what was in that plan. And so what was next? And we recognized it was time again to sit down as a board and to pull in volunteers, to pull in staff as well in that conversation and to discern again from the Spirit of God, what is our plan for the next five years? And so in uh, March and April and May of this year, we went through that uh, discernment process again and we have put together another five-year plan and it just feels again like the Spirit of God is at work and it looks again like a stretch objective, but our faith is even stronger this time. We've seen you as Mission Central be the hands and feet of God, and we're excited about what's to come. The number one thing in that strategic plan, obviously, as you heard Dillip mention yesterday, is to lift the burden of the debt that we have for the building. 
That's the number one thing we'd like to do. If we can do that, something in the order of $60,000 a year will free up from paying mortgage and will go more directly to ministry that we can do. And that's a huge amount of ministry that can be added if we can eliminate that debt, if we can lift that burden. So I would ask you, as faithful members of the conference and volunteers at Mission Central, to put that on your prayer list, your daily prayer list, would you put on, oh God, will you lift the burden of the mortgage debt at Mission Central and be in prayer daily and even seeking how God would, would work through you to be a part of the answer to that prayer. Also in our strategic plan, we identified ways that God would have us enhance our facility, enhance our hub network, enhance volunteer relationships. We have a lot of responsibility for all these volunteers. So we'll work on that. We'll, we're going to work on enhancing our partnerships. All those who ministries that reside in uh, the warehouse are partner uh, ministries, many of them, if they're not ours directly. And so we want to enhance those relationships. We want to enhance our communication with you and with other organizations. If you've been at our website, you've seen people with their company name on t-shirts serving. So your witness of the service you do at Mission Central is calling even secular organizations, non-church organizations, to come and do good things, to actually build the kingdom of God with us. And so we want to be able to enhance our communication and our relationships with those organizations as well. We look to enhance our governance, and we're even considering how we might initiate programs and services, which is something we actually haven't done directly yet. So all of those areas are things that we've, uh, that are included in our strategic plan. If I've said something and, and it's caught your attention and you thought, wow, I, I, I feel like the Spirit might be calling me to participate in one of those areas in some deeper way, please come see me, send me an email, give me a phone call. I would love to talk with you more. If any part of these categories of strategic plan that God has given us interest you, please talk to me. I'd love, we need more help. We need more governance help as part of what we're doing. We particularly need right now someone, and I suspect that person is in this room, who can manage from the board perspective our facility. Somebody who's good with a physical plant. Somebody who understands electrical and, and HVAC and those kind of things. So if you're that person, please come see me. Let's talk about how we could use your help. All in all, I have to say thank you so much for the part you play, the fact that you are Mission Central. Please don't let up. Please continue to pray. Please continue to be the hands and feet of God and seek to do that through the work of Mission Central. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. We indeed have seen the movement of the Holy Spirit from the very beginning of Mission Central until this day, so much so that we expect it every day at Mission Central. So we trust fully that God will indeed lead us through this next uh, five-year strategic plan and that we will be able to accomplish those things for the kingdom of God and for God's purposes. Uh, if you have more shoes at home or uh, somewhere else tucked away and you want to get them to Mission Central, we'll accept them anytime that we're open at Mission Central. This is an ongoing project throughout the year, so we'll take them at any time. Uh, you don't need to go out and solicit bucketfuls, but if you have them, you can go ahead and do that. But we do, speaking of buckets, do need buckets. Uh, UMCOR anticipates many buckets that need uh, to respond to the flooding, uh, not only in Texas, but in Florida. And then, of course, we're heading into hurricane season. Also uh, on our table is a thumb drive available for $5 donation. It contains the 52-week devotional series that we just finished this week that tells the story of Mission Central from the beginning till today and looking forward in a devotional format. So we encourage you to use that. It also contains uh, other resources that we've uh, prepared, liturgical resources for Advent, for Lent, for the great 50 days. And then also, uh, Upcoming for next Vacation Bible School season in 2017, we will be offering a VBS program based on Mission Central, based on mission, 
Uh, it will be flexible enough that you can incorporate your own local mission or other mission that you would like to incorporate. We would like to offer that for probably about a $100 donation. It will be on a DVD with original music, complete curriculum, uh, ideas on how you can tie things to the UMCOR kits and so forth. So watch for that and for that availability and as you plan your next uh, VBS season. And finally, the get yourselves in shape. October 29th, join our 5K run at Mission Central. And thank you again for all of your support, uh, both financially and with your physical uh, work at Mission Central and your prayers as we continue to move forward. Thank you very much.